happy weekend. It's weekend over here in Dubai and I'm just heading over to Dubai Mall to get a package because I ordered one item from H&M. Some items from H&M and they told me that I need to get the package within a week. Otherwise, they will cancel the order. So, yeah, I'm like, okay, I need to go today since it's a weekend anyway. So, I will just take you guys with me to Dubai Mall. Let's go. Guys, as always, it's so freaking hot. So, just bear with me i will just need to open this up guys 48 degrees <laughs> guys before i head on over to dubai mall i just want to quickly thank you thank you thank you for your support on my previous video which was the louis vuitton bag unboxing i really appreciate that it got over I think the last time I checked, it was over 800 views already. So, I hope it reaches at least 1,000 views. But anyways, also I gained some subscriber because of that um, unboxing. So, I'm really thankful for you guys for your support. And I will try to do another unboxing. Of course, I need to save for a few months for that. But still... I will try to think of creative ways, creative video ideas for you guys. Just please, I ask you to subscribe. Please subscribe. I still see that 50% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So it's really helpful for me to see that I'm gaining subscribers that I will be like interested or more motivated to do another video. So yeah, that's all. And... Again, thank you, thank you for your support. And yeah, let's head on over to Dubai Mall. Let's go. Guys, I just want to show you. See, that's Burj Khalifa, like the world tallest building in the world. So we're going over there because Dubai Mall is just beside that. There is like a 40% off on Chanel, so everybody's queuing over here. So I'm here, I found H&M, but before I go inside, I just want to quickly show you the indoor aquarium inside the Mall. Here you go. They have an aquarium inside the mall, can you imagine? How cool is that? Look how big it is from here to there. We even have sharks inside. But that's a freaking shark. Shop here in Dubai is having like three floors, so this is like the women's area. Look at all the new things, guys! 
they have some sale items over there but look at all this amazing summer dress oh these are all pretty i'm actually looking for like a linen pants that is khaki this looks amazing cute hi I actually ordered online and I want to collect it here because I told them that the item will collect it. Yeah, I have it. Um, and she's going to check if it's here or in their another shop because apparently they have two shops here in Dubai Mall. So most probably it will be in on, on the other shop but she will still check if it's here. So anyways, let's wait if it's here. Let's just go around. This bag is giving me Gucci vibes. It's like, okay. And they have a matching sandals as well. Yeah. Look at all this. If you want those chunky necklaces that is in fashion now, they have it here. I actually didn't know that they have two shops over here. The problem with Dubai Mall is it is so freaking big so i need to walk around and look for the other shop like oh my god anyways let's search for it she told me it's near starbucks and mac so i'm not sure exactly where is it anyways let's check so apparently it's on the opposite side of the other shop so it's beside starbucks mm. we're near I can see it actually. There. You can see the red logo. Found it. Found it, found it, found it. Excuse me. I'm here to collect an item. I bought it online and it's here. The collection is here, yeah. Okay, so that's my item, guys. Look how big it is. Damn. Oh, I need to carry that all the way to the parking. So, good luck. I got the items. They even put here, thank you, stay safe. So, these are all the items that I ordered online. Yeah. I'm sweating like as you can see I really sweat like when I wear this mask during daytime and I move around like Dubai mall is so big so you need to walk around it was really hot but yeah the goods are secured as you can see I got it so let's head on home and I'm going to show you what I got it's basically I'm not going to say I'm just going to show you there are all the same items but they had this sale so i really got it for a good good price and shout out to mommy teen i saw her unbox this and i checked the website because of that and yeah i really got a good deal with all these items so if there is still these items on their website i'm going to link them down so you can order as well so let's head on home guys i reached home and i wanted to show you what i have here guys three rotten but not rotten it's like overripe bananas so i guess we'll do banana bread let's do banana bread guys but before that let's do the unboxing of the items that i got from h and i just want to quickly show you and then we'll start baking yay okay guys so let's start the unboxing and of this items that I got from H&M. These are just small items guys. So I'm just going to show you one by one. They are all the same. And I got this at a very, very affordable price because they were on sale. Let's just start with this small one. So I'm just going to open it. And quickly show you what I got. These are all very cheap items. The first item. Okay. 
try to guess what it is guys so if you guess it comment down below <laughs> from the shape you will already know what it is so yeah I got a scented candle so this is the first item look at the packaging not packaging it's like the container of the candle it's really cute it's pink with the gold cover and yeah this is fresh cut flowers limited batch aroma scented candle and the other items come from this box because it's all the same items same like same line same family so they put it here i'm going to show you These are all, I think, like nine dirham candles, so it's really very cheap. I'm going to show you one by one what I got. Of course, it's not the same. This is a little bit smaller, so this is the first candle that I got. I don't know if you can see it. Is it so new? So the scent is Cedar, a rich hue of warm sweet spice perfumes the air. So yeah, this is the first one. One is, I already got this before in a smaller size. This is the ginger. It's nice to keep in the kitchen. This is ginger. It also has the same like same style and the cork cover. And this is fig. Same container and cover. Mm, this one smells really nice. Fig. The good thing about this online purchase is that even if the item is very cheap, if you choose that you can pick up the item so it will be free. Because if they deliver, you need to pay for the delivery charge. And sometimes if it's free delivery charge, there is a minimum order of like around 250. So if you don't want to purchase more than 250, if it's just less than 20 dirhams, you can choose um, pick up option and they will tell you which malls here in the UAE, you can pick up your item. So the closest to you, you can go there and pick up your order. So you don't need to pay for the delivery. So yeah. Next up is this one. It's a little bit different. There is no power. But yeah, the container is still glass. And it's really giving you an aesthetic vibe. It's dark brown. And this is the olive and sage um, scented candle. So yeah. This is the same as the other one with the cork cover. This is their olive, olive scented candle. So yeah, that's all what I've got. And... You like it there? So I mentioned earlier in the vlog that I'm going to do the banana bread because I have this three ripe bananas. So yeah, I've learned this actually during quarantine. So it's the easiest thing to do guys. If you want to start baking or at least do a bread or something, banana bread is the easiest recipe of all. The ingredients are very less and the steps to do it is very easy. Like I got this, I googled this recipe but I tweaked a little bit of the step, the recipe like so it's like based already on my preference. Like I've added a little bit of sugar, a little bit of this so yeah. But basically all the ingredients are the same, it's just up to you 
like for me for example there are some recipes that they only use brown sugar other recipes only use white sugar but for me i use half brown half white so yeah so the recipes are i mean the ingredients are very simple you just need flour sugar um egg butter and baking powder i think that's it and of course your banana yeah so that's it so let's start first thing to do is of course mash your your ripe bananas so you just need to mash this and then you need to sift your flour that's the next step of course while doing this guys another um Another advice that I'm going to tell you is start preheating your oven so you don't need to wait later when you, fi when you finish doing all this. Just preheat your oven now while you're preparing all this so it's ready for you to put it in the oven later once it's done. Okay, so I've decided to show you. This is while I'm mashing the bananas. It's a total of three ripe bananas. I'm just mashing it until it's like if you see there is now less bulkiness on the banana okay so the next thing i do is that i sift the two cups of flour so you just need to use this measuring cup and put in two cups of flour it's better to sift it actually so it will be fine without the lumps of the flour when you mix it I just need two cups of flour in my ingredients with three bananas but if you want to add more you can also add according to your um, recipe oops <laughs> okay so now we sieve as you can see it's more finer when you sieve so I really suggest you doing this with the flour it's better and then after doing that, the next thing to do is to add the baking powder. You just need two tablespoons of baking powder. So yeah, two tablespoons is more than enough. And then just mix the flour and the baking powder together that's it so after doing that get a container we need to put in half a cup of butter with the sugar you just need to mix the butter and the sugar so what I do I melt the butter in the microwave and I just mix it together with the sugar so this is the melted butter as you can see but also i wanted to say that before i mix the melted butter with the sugar i put a little bit of the melted butter in the baking pan so that the mixture will not stick when it's already baking so this is another secret or another thing you can do before you mix the butter with the sugar so you need a half a cup of measuring cup you just pour in your melted butter pour it in the bowl and then after that you can now add your half a cup of white sugar and half a cup of brown sugar this is based from my um recipe other people use one cup of brown sugar other people use one cup of white sugar i just prefer to do half and half and then using a spatula just mix all of them together so after that the next step is to add the mashed banana with the combination of butter and sugar so 
using the spatula just fold and mix it, them all together and then after that you can now add your two eggs two large eggs in the mixture again using the spatula just mix the egg with the mixture until you see that it's already thoroughly mixed and then now you can add the flour and baking powder mixture all together so you just need to mix them slowly until the flour dissolves in the mixture so i'm just adding the flour um slowly in the mixture little by little here is what the mixture will look like after all the flour is mixed together and then another thing that i do is i add cinnamon powder just maybe one four tablespoons of cinnamon powder will do you can also add vanilla extract if you want i just prefer not to add and then i use the electric mixer to mix this all together You just need to use the mixer for a few minutes, maybe less than 5 minutes. You don't want to over mix the mixture. You just need to just remove a little bit of the lump and mix it finely all together. So as you can see, this is the mixture now. It's ready to go in the baking pan. So I just pour all the mixture in the baking pan. Actually, for banana bread, there is a separate pan but i don't have that i just have this so you just need to pour it in and yeah that's it it's so easy very very easy for this banana bread recipe i will be adding white chocolate chips on top but you can also add your own thing if you want to add nuts Another thing I can recommend is to add cashew nuts, all war walnuts, or roasted almonds. And yeah, you can have your own, um, sp you can add spice to your banana bread. So here is the banana bread finished product. Banana bread with chocolate chips. So, you've already finished the banana bread. Here's the outcome. So I'm just going to bake this now for 10 to 15 minutes or depending if the toothpick already goes inside. That is my measurement if it's already cooked. I put a, a toothpick inside and, and if it's like already nothing is sticking out, sticking on the toothpick though, so it means the banana bread is already cooked. So anyways, uh, I'm going to put in the description down below the exact ingredients, exact steps that you will follow to do this very easy banana bread recipe and yeah i'm going to put this one in the oven and i will show you later the final outcome so stay tuned guys let's put it inside i've already preheated this so it's a bit hot now it's there so let's just wait guys i'm so excited so let's try As you can see, there is still parts of the banana that's sticking out. So it means it's still not cooked. It needs maybe 5 minutes more or so. So yeah, let's check it out again. Guys, I think it's cooked now. Let's quickly check. Wait. Yeah, there's no more. So this is finished. Let's close this up and yeah, here's the finished product. Let me just cool this off and I'll show you guys. Banana bread is done you guys. Look at that. These are all the chocolate chips around here. You can 
guys so this is the final product i will just show you how it looks like let's cut somewhere in the middle So that's it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed and learned something in eating the banana bread so as mentioned before i'm going to put everything in the description the recipe and the ingredients so you can just follow those the easy banana bread recipe and yeah don't forget to subscribe guys like this video and comment down below what do you think of the recipe and also suggest a YouTube video idea for me to do so yeah don't forget to follow me as well on my socials on my Instagram Facebook and TikTok and that's it for today so see you again on the next one guys bye